Hi, this is Mike for Themify, and in this video I'll be walking you through the Themify Builder, which is a powerful drag-and-drop layout tool that comes in all Themify themes as well as a standalone plugin that will work with third-party themes. The Themify Builder is found on any page or post located just below the main content area here in the Themify custom panel. It's this third tab here, the Themify Builder. To start, you will notice a number of Themify modules and one Themify Builder row. Uh, to start, simply grab a module. I'm going to grab a text module here and simply drag and drop it into the row. Up will pop a light box with the options. So here I'm just going to add a title to this module and I'll say text. And here I'll say some text. Simply scroll down, click Save save your layout and at this point I'm gonna click this button here switch to the front end which is going to bring us to the front page of our website here you'll notice that the Themify Builder is still on and we can actually edit the front page of our website with the builder and see what we're building at the same time now the modules that we add do not necessarily have to take up the full width by hovering over the row here we get our columns and you can choose anywhere from one to six columns as well as different varying layouts of those six columns. So I'm just going to choose a two column layout here. You'll notice a second little area for a module has popped up and I'm going to grab a, another text module. And what's important to note is that the text modules also use WordPress shortcodes. So I'm going to drop in a Twitter shortcode Again, I scroll down to Save, and you'll notice now we have Themify's Twitter feed. And I'm just going to click Save and see how that looks. I'll click on Closing the Builder, and this is how our website will look. And it was just that easy. We added a text module, we added a Twitter module, we set our row up in a two-column layout, and here's what we have. If you want to edit your layout or your modules, simply come up to the WordPress menu here under Themify Builder and click turn on builder. You can now edit the front of your website live. Now, if at any point in time we hover over the row, we have the options for the row. It is also important to note that if we hover over any module, we have the options for the module. To edit any module, simply click this little pencil right here. Or to rearrange the modules, simply drag and drop by grabbing the menu, and you can stack them on top of each other, you can move them into different columns, or if you wanted, you could add additional modules beneath it and just keep growing your page layout as you need. I'm just going to drag these back into their original position and show you that while your row has options for how your columns are laid out, individual modules now have the option to add sub rows. So here, my Twitter is a little bit longer than this text module and ordinarily I would only be able to add additional modules beneath it. But now, by adding sub rows, I can add additional information here in what would ordinarily be a blank white space. So I'm going to click on a two column layout. And in this module here, I will drag a, another text module. And I'm going to title this sub row one column two and I'll just put a little text in here so we know what we're looking at and save it it's also important to note that any row or any sub row you can duplicate simply by hovering over this sub row I get the sub row menu bar here and I can duplicate that by simply clicking this button right here and I'm just going to re-edit this text to now say sub row two column one and I will edit this module here to say sub row two column two and if I want to I could continue to duplicate this row as well as by clicking this X you are also able to delete rows. It will ask you to confirm and you say OK and there you have it. So now we're building our layout. 
but at any point in time, I can move any of these modules into any module area. I can grab this text and I can put it above our Twitter feed. I can grab this text and I can stack it underneath our sub rows. I can grab our Twitter and I can drag it into our first position here. But for now, I'm just going to bring them back to their original position. It's just important to know that they are all in infinitely interchangeable. When you like what you have, simply click Save, close the builder, and have a look at what you've done. I'm going to turn the builder back on now. So in our layout, we have rows, sub rows, and columns. We also have here, in between our columns, we also have gutters, which you can also adjust. By clicking on the menu for the row, just beneath your column options, Click on gutter spacing. By default, it is wide. I can also make it narrow, as well as change it to none. I'm going to leave that at the default for now and show you that you have the exact same options here on the sub row menu, where you can choose the number of columns. Simply come down to your uh, gutter spacing, and I'm going to go from default to narrow. That just narrowed that right there. And I'll go to none. That just brought that to none. So you have a lot of control even in all of these sub rows. And I'll just bring that back to the default. And now I will save, close out the builder, and have a look at the layout that I've made so far. I like what I'm seeing so far. Let's continue editing. I'm going to come up to the Themify Builder, turn the builder back on. Just like the sub rows, the entire row itself can be duplicate by coming up to the header of the row and clicking on duplicate. You'll now notice we have a complete duplicate row and if you want to get rid of that row simply click delete. In this case I'm going to start dragging additional modules down here. I'm going to go to my uh, row column layout options and I think I'm going to choose a five column layout this time. I will set the gutter spacing to narrow and I'm going to start adding a few modules. First, I think I will add an image module. I simply drag and drop. Up pops the light box with all of our image options. I'm going to title this module image. I'll leave the layout as it is. I can browse my media library or upload an original image. In this case, I'm going to browse the media library and choose this one right here. You have a number of additional options, including captions and height and width. Uh, I'm just going to save for the moment. And there you have it. We've added an image module. Let's add another. I'll add a video module this time. I simply grab the video module and pop it in there. I'm going to title this video. And for the video URL, I'm simply going to paste this YouTube link. Again, you have a number of additional options. And I'm just going to come over here and click Save. Or, for a quick tip, if you're on a PC, simply click Control S or on a Mac, Command S, and that'll save the module window. And there we have it. We've added a video. Uh, let's do another. I will grab a gallery module. Again, up pop your options. I'm going to title this gallery and I'm going to insert a gallery. This brings up the gallery feature of WordPress and I'm going to select uh, one, two, three, four images. I'll say add to gallery. I'll put this in a two column gallery and I'll set that to attach to the media file. Update gallery. Here's the gallery shortcode. Again, a few additional options, and I'm just going to click Save. And there's our gallery. Next, I think I'll add a slider module. I'll grab the slider module and add it here. Up pop our light box, and I will name this Slider. I can select from my blog posts, slider posts, portfolios, images, videos, text. Uh, I'm going to select all categories. And I'm going to limit this to four posts. 
I don't want the full content, so I'll set that to none. You have additional options here for your slider, whether you want it to scroll or to fade or to pause on hover, as well as how fast it's going. I'm just going to click on save for the moment, and there's our slider. Next, I think I will add a map module. I will title this map, and all I have to do is paste an address. I'll choose Toronto, Ontario, Canada. You have your zoom level, you have a few options for how you want to display your map, be it a satellite or a hybrid, a few others, and I'm just going to click on save. And there's our map. I like how this is looking so far, I think I'll just keep going. I'll come down here, next row, I'm just going to drop in a post module. And this is going to pull from all of our blog content. I'm going to title this post. You can choose the layout, all categories, whether or not you want to or order them by descending or ascending, by the date, the ID, the author, a number of options. I'll just change the display content to display excerpt and come down to the bottom and save. And now we have our entire blog roll showing underneath our page layout. I like how this is looking so far. I'm going to click Save. It's going to save our layout and our modules and close. And this is our page so far. Looking pretty good, but we can take this even further. So I'm going to turn the builder back on and introduce you to row styling. To style a row, bear in mind this is our main row here. For the row options, click on this large gray bar over the entire row. This first icon, if you hover over that, you have an option here for options. Click on that and this will bring up the options for styling the row. I am going to scroll down and I'm going to give this entire row a background image. I'm going to browse my library. I'm going to choose this nice cityscape. Next I can choose the background mode and in this case I'm going to choose parallax scrolling. I come down here, I save, and I have a full width background image. To see a parallax, I'm going to click on Save, close the builder, and you'll see we have a nice parallax effect over our background image. A static image is nice, but let's actually add a, a video background. I'm going to turn the builder back on. I'll scroll down to our second row here. Again, I'll go to the icon with my options. And in this case, instead of a background image, I'm going to click on a background video. This gives us the option to upload or browse the library. I have a video already loaded. And I'm going to click on Save. For the videos, we actually have to close the builder and refresh the page to see the video, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to close the builder. And I'm going to refresh the page. And there's our great video background. But as I scroll up, I don't care for the default gray text on top of this darker image. That's great. With the row styling, I can actually change the font, font size, the color, the padding of all of this text. So I'm just going to turn the builder back on. I'll come to this first row. I'll click on Options. Let's choose a font family. You'll notice that we have all of your standard WebSafe fonts as well as all of the Google Web fonts ready to choose from. And I'm going to choose Poirier 1. I'm going to change the font color to white. And I'll change the font size to, say, 20 pixels just to make it large enough to see it to change. Uh, we also have those links in our Twitter feed. I can change the color from the black that we couldn't quite see. I will make the links specifically sort of a bright cyan. But I like what I see. I click Save. I'm going to save this and close out of the builder. 
And here you'll see we have our new font and our new font color and our new font size as well as all of our links have a new font color as well. Now this is nice, but what if I wanted this module specifically or this module specifically to have a different font than the rest of the modules in that row? I'm just going to turn the builder back on and show you that the same thing that we just did here for the entire row, we now have the option to click on any module, edit that module, and here where we were adding text before, that is under our text tab. If we simply click on our styling tab, we have a number of great options here, such as changing the font family, changing the font color, the size, the padding. I think I'll change the font family to uh, a script so we can really see the difference. Calligraffiti. And I'll change the font color to that same light cyan that we have for our Twitter links. Come down here and save the layout. Save the builder. Close the builder. And that's how easy it is to really master your page layout of your web page with the Themify Builder. Themify Builder is available in all Themify themes, as well as a standalone plugin that works with other third-party themes. Thank you.